back. Um, so today I'm going to show you my haul from when I got to go on a big old shopping trip and blow all my money on all the things I wanted to for my big 30th birthday. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I got on my trip. I mainly went to Lush, Sephora, and Max. So those are the places that I blew the most money. <laughs> I was actually really disappointed with the Sephora that I went to it it didn't have a lot of the stuff that I went for so I had and they were like oh yeah we just restock we just restocked and I thought well then where is it so anyway um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into what I got first I went to Lush um, and I got I already used this so um, I got this little tin it's wet but um, it has the Godiva shampoo in it. It's like a solid bar shampoo. It smells just like jasmine and deliciousness. Uh, I used it today in the shower on my hair, but I really liked it. Um, the smell was great. It lathered up great. I've never used a solid shampoo before, so I, I kind of rubbed it in between my hands, and then I rubbed it throughout my hair. Um, also, like, just the bar on my hair. Um... I it got a great lather and the smell was like delicious so I would definitely be repurchasing when I went into Lush I was like oh I've never been here before would I have a big long list and I mean the girl was like loading stuff in my cart left and right and then I got to the counter to pay and I would those were just ideas like I wanted to smell those things and like then narrow down the list from there but she didn't take it that way and then I guess I didn't really realize what was happening is my fault because when we got to the thing she was like ringing everything up and like she just kept putting it in my bag and I cut my list down but I don't know what happened and like everything I mentioned to like even look at she just like went ahead and loaded it into my thing I mean I'm a dumb dumb because I should have just been like oh no wait hang on I want to smell that or I want to like decide or I'm not sure about that like give me a second but she was just like on my Probably case ended up getting way more than I intended to um but you know what I don't go very often so I wanted to try a bunch of the products so that's kind of why I have more than I normally would plan ghetto but like I already unpackaged it and used it in the shower but it's the lust body soap and it just comes in this like you know, a little package, and I actually, after she started pulling pieces of soap, she was pulling, like, $20 pieces of soap for me, and I was like, um, no, ma'am. So, I finally was like, um, could you, can I get, like, a smaller piece of that or whatever? So, then finally I was like, um, why don't you cut me a $5 piece? Because they can cut you whatever you want, and, like, I don't use soap very much. I use body wash, but, um, I'm going to be using soap. But this is, like, I think this is their, like, normal scent it smells like jasmine um smell the godiva shampoo smells just like this and it smells delicious so i really like that um so that's the lust soap and it's just like a pink lovely jubblies um for you ladies out there who have had children um i've had three kids and this is probably like too much information but i've breastfed my kids so my jubblies are not lovely anymore um but i'm going to be testing this out to see if it works it smells like it's just like a cream just like plain cream white um, it smells like flowers uh, you put this on it just says it's for a truly titillating experience and your own f fabulous pair of lovely jubbly smooth plenty of this firming floral lotion onto your decollete and let it uplift you in more ways than one okay so I, I you know, spread it on, like, the tops, because I'm like, um, surgery is going to have to fix what I've got going on, but at least I could try and, like, firm up the skin. I don't know. So, I'm going to try this, but I really, really like it the first day. I'm going to go with what I had out. I used this in the shower today, Retread Conditioner. It's just a sample size, I think, because I spent so much. She was like, ooh, can I get you some samples? Yes, you can. Um, it smells like dirt and crap, pretty much. It's just, I hate it. Um, I really judge, like, conditioners harshly. Be so tangly, like, so tangly. I don't know what's wrong with my hair. I have the tangliest hair, but I really judge conditioners based on, like, how smooth it is and, like, if I can get my fingers through it in the shower. Um, no, you cannot. This smells like dirt and earth and, like, hairy armpits. And I just do not like it. Um, it 
did not do anything for my hair in in as far as like what retreading it no it did not it did not retread it it made it extremely snarly and really hard to come out so I'm not gonna be spending my money on that I'm glad I got a sample size of it to be honest I don't remember what it is it's a massage bar um she just went ahead and put it like in this little case but it's this, this one right here um, don't judge my nails because I bit them all off yesterday because we watched the movie The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Oh my gosh, it's freaky. And I was like, biting all my nails. But anyways, okay, so you just rub this in between your hands and it like, it's like a massage bar and it lets off these oils and stuff. She said this was good for stretch marks. Um, I have plenty. I will let you know if this works. The next thing I got was Sultana, like soap. Um, like I said, it's a $13 piece. It's pretty big I don't know I mean like it's almost as big as my hand it's pretty thick um I'm not gonna open it up I think it has like little chunks of stuff in it it says for a berry creamy lather and it says berry so I think it does smell like berries and this smells very very good so I'm, I'm excited to use this one has these bath bombs they come just like in a little bag like this like a little well, one just like totally fell off. <laughs> okay, so it comes in this like little bag, uh, which is jacked up and broken. Um, I think this is Twilight. I'm trying to smell things. I don't know who it was. My friend was like making fun of me for smelling stuff on camera, but I'm smelling it so I can describe the scent, but it turns out I'm not good at that, so... Anyways, you just drop these into your bath water and apparently it makes amazing bath. My husband likes to take baths and I usually don't. So he was really surprised when I came home with all this like bath stuff. He's like, what What are you doing? You don't take baths. I'm like, well, I'm going to start. Here's a bubble bar. This is called, I think, Dorothy. Um, I think you can break these up and like use them. I, I Honestly, I got this for my little girls. I just thought they'd have a really fun time taking like a, a little bath with this. Um, so... It smells like florally and like a tinge of mintish, I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm bad. The next thing is another bath bomb. Sakura or something. Um, it smells very clean. This is called like Happy Day or something. I'm sorry. I'm like really bad at this, but it is like a sparkly golden bubble bar. Smells like lemons and like fresh oranges and something delicious. So it's supposed to turn your water like yellow and like glittery. Ooh. <laughs> I had like some of that white stuff on my nose. Just smelling bath bombs, people. Just smelling bath bombs. is mangoed or like you've been mangoed and it's just like a bath melt. It's very creamy and buttery and it like almost starts to melt in my hands. But it just smells like mangoes thing I got was Ma Bar. It's like a chocolate and cream smelling thing. It has like a little brown sugar cube in it. It's a bubble bar. I guess it's supposed to make your bath smell good and give you lots of bubble foam. Just like this. It smells like buttercream vanilla. I think is like what everyone says like the best thing for your buck um, as far as like at lunch. Sugar bubble bar. It smells like Something fruity and creamy, like fruity and cream. Um, I think you can break it up into a bunch of different pieces and use it for several baths. I wash the kids. Um, this smells like very, very fresh and good and yummy. So I like this one a lot. And I think it has like chunks of stuff in it. But a bunch of people told me to get this one. Like that was the number one thing everyone told me to get. The last like full size product that I got was this Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. Everyone, I don't have like a good face scrub and exfoliator, so no one told me to get this. It's just, you know, it's supposed to be really good for your skin, so I will like. Thing I got Rehab Shampoo. If it's if it's anything like uh, Retread, I'm not going to like it. And then I got the Daddio, which is like the shampoo for blonde hair. I will do MAC because I got the least amount of stuff there. Um, I just got like an empty palette and I filled it. I got 
an empty palette. Um, I just wanted another one to travel with. Um, I got the two colors, Copper Plate, which is right here, and Malt. Copper Plate is just like a very matte gray color and Malt, which my friend Megan told me to get. It's like a, just a really like grayer toned color, creamy color, I don't know, it goes great like in your crease for a very natural eye. I used it to blend out what I'm wearing right now, just in my crease. I got those in pan form because I went to the pro store, so um, they come in like little sleeves like this uh, with the color right here and it just drops in the pan. I think they're cheaper, they're like $11.50 um, and then regular pot eyeshadows are $14.50. I got so. another palette, um, just a plain empty one just to put eyeshadows in. I think my other two are filled up and then I have that little four pan one and then I just wanted one like as they were going to grow. So Next up I went to Sephora and like I said I, they didn't have anything I wanted at first, the first one I went to so I decided to go to another one. Um, I got... The first one I went to, I got Buxom lip glosses. I got the, um, like the one I had in White Russian, like the big and healthy, like cream polish ones. I got Foxy's Lady, which is like a light pink or like a the the medium pink one. And then I got, um, what did I get? Two more like this. I think I got Bunny or Sandy or whatever. Anyways, I returned it. Um, and I just kept two. The other one's in my car. I think I kept bunny no I kept sandy which is just like a neutral one like this with some sparkles in it um they didn't have creamsicle and they didn't have like the berry blast one which is the two that I went for and they didn't have it either Sephora so I kind of settled on this one this is in Claire and I had I've had it before it's like a mauve color with lots of shimmer in it and you know these bucks on lip glosses they give like a nice minty tinge to your lips so I picked up then I got like the this little thing for my birthday the other one that I had gotten I got from my husband's birthday I know that's janky but I did it I got is what it's on my eyes right now um I got the NARS um eyeshadow duo in Kalahari this has these two colors right here I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them this one is that one right here, and then that is this color right here. So that's what looks like. I got. I'm like a little bit embarrassed. I almost didn't even want to consider it showing everyone because I said in my last video, my April favorites, I had one of these and I was like, it's just too expensive. I'm never going to get another one, but I got myself one for my 30th birthday and that was the one I showed you. <sighs> But like I said, they didn't have all the other things I wanted, so I was like, Ugh, I really want this money's burning in a hole in my pocket. Like, I'm not going to be back here again. So I swatched all these, and <sighs> I'm hanging my head in shame. I got some more YSL stuff. So I'm embarrassed to say that I did this, but I'm blaming Shades of Cassie because I saw her and she had some. They didn't have the ones that I wanted. So I had to end up settling on like my second choice for the lipstick and my first choice though they did have what I wanted, the glossy stain. So first I'll show you the lipstick I got. I got um, the Rouge Full Up number 13. Um, I think it's called Peach Passion. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's just a very, very pretty, wearable, like, pinky peach color. Um, it just goes on so smooth, and I really, really like was this. The, I swatched them in the store. These are the new uh, YSL Glossy Stains. I got mine in number 15, which is, like, called Rose Vinyl. Um, it is just, like, a very wearable pink color. Okay, so these go on creamy like a gloss, and but they stain your lips. So you're supposed to put like one layer on, like blot it, and then kind of like dab it off, then put another another layer on, like blot it, and then another layer on. And anyways, it stays really like the product. It is my birthday haul, and I hope you all enjoy. Thank you for watching, hope and you all have a great day. Bye.